Councilman Brown. Thank you. Um, just some uh, reports from the third ward real quick. Um, my council, oh, first, I want to give, um, say sorry for your loss to the council president for uh, his mother and Councilwoman Armand for her uh, mother-in-law. Uh, my thoughts go out uh, to you guys as well. Um, so uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm sorry about that. Um, on to the third ward. Um, like Councilwoman Ormond mentioned, speeding is an issue. It's not uh, just pertaining to one ward. The third ward also has speeding issues. One of them uh, on Clark and Walnut Street is a street that both myself and Councilman Ormond do share, and that is something that will be addressed that I have requested the police department to do a traffic study on there to see what we can do. Uh, so we will be working together to address both Clark and Walnut Street. Um, I know there's an issue with a uh, uh, street light on Maple. Uh, Councilman Cosby is going to read that street light again. For some reason, it still has not been installed. So we're going to go through the motions of getting uh, that done. Also, on pertaining to Maple, the length of Maple from Clark Street all the way down to East Price Street will be paved this year, as well as Middlesex. Um, that, that is a street that is in some dire need of repair. And in regards to clumsiness, as you stated, I want to thank the residents who do call me. In regards to our parks that sometimes needs the garbage dumped or, or things of that nature, I just ask that you continue to call me, let me know what's going on, uh, and we will do our best to address that. In regards to city business, um, the municipal budget is something that every year we deal with, something that I take a great deal of effort in working on. And so we, we need to do things a little bit differently. I know that residents are looking for tax relief and uh, there are gonna be some changes that, that we need to make. Um, one of which I guess could be des best described by a story uh, regarding my son where a couple years ago, um, he goes to school, he went to school when he came home and one of his things was he wanted playground equipment. And he's telling me, I said, Alex, why are you telling me? He says, well dad, because you're the council person, even though it's a school function. And that story I I'm relating uh, to the public is about what Lyndon needs to do. when. Residents get their tax bill. It says Linden, City of Linden. It doesn't matter whether your Board of Education, the Sewage Authority, um, the municipality, the libraries, one tax bill. And it's a matter of how do we work closer together to reduce taxes or at least you know, to address the tax issues. So last week, myself, the mayor, um, the treasurer, uh, representatives from the library, representatives from the Board of Education, as well as the Sewage Authority came together. And some people didn't even know who, were they, who, you know, who each other were. And the first line that we need to do is at least have some dialogue amongst each other because we all represent one Linden, yet there's no communication of what we can do to lift this burden on the taxpayers um, and see how we can work close together for next year's budget, 2018 budget and budgets after. And also improve the quality of life of residents, improve services. You know, this is something that really has not been done in the past that at least last week took the first step in at least creating some type of dialogue. In regards to taxes, one of the hot topic issues is the garbage surcharge that we did not talk about tonight. And I lend some of my time over to the mayor to briefly talk about that. Thank you. I know uh, this is not time for my report, but I do thank you for allowing me to uh, inject Mr. Brown. In 2013, uh, the governing body here in Linden implemented uh, what I think um, to me was one of the most unfair taxes that this city has really ever encountered. And that was, the, that was a garbage fee. Um, we did so uh, because there was a 2% cap that was implemented by Governor Christie. Uh, and somehow we just, just couldn't seem to balance our budget um, and stand at that 2% cap. So what we did was implemented a garbage fee. Now, in essence, all we did was circumvented his law uh, by giving you an increase over 2% two, 2 with a garbage fee. Whether I'm in the supermarket or whether I'm on Wood Avenue, it seems to me that every resident in this town who pays property taxes is concerned about this garbage fee. All of us, every last one of us, have run and promised that we would remove such a tax. And, uh, but I think that we have, up until this point, let the residents of our city down. Um, Tonight, I'm going to direct this council to introduce an ordinance to eliminate the garbage fee. It is something that I was committed to. 
and it's something that I promised the residents of this town that, could be, that it could be done. Now, what it means, essentially, is that if we eliminate this tax, it means that the finance department in this town, as well as the governing body in this town, are going to basically have to sharpen their pencils because the removal of this tax is going to mean the elimination of $1.6 million that we receive um, in revenue. So that being said, I believe that this governing body, I believe that our finance department is capable of sharpening their pencils and doing which, what is necessary to eliminate this tax. Uh, so going forward, I'm going to ask Councilman Brown, uh, our finance person, to introduce an ordinance to eliminate this, what I consider most unfair taxes to our residents in, in, in this town. Thank you, Mr. Brown. So with that being said, I make a motion to add ordinance 61-50, which is an ordinance repealing ordinance 57-25 entitled garbage collection annual surcharge. And that, uh, ask for the clerk to read it. An ordinance repealing ordinance 5725 entitled garbage collection annual surcharge be it ordained by the Council of the City of Linden, Section 1, ordinance 5725 adopted on June 18th, 2013 is hereby repealed in its entirety, effective January 1, 2018, Section 2, that any ordinance provisions inconsistent with this ordinance are hereby repealed, Section 3, this ordinance shall become effective after adoption and publication according to the law. I make a motion, ask for a second. 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 Mrs. Ormond? Yes. Javik? Yes. Brown? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby Harling? Before I vote for this, I want to just make a comment. that We didn't talk about this last night, and um, I totally did not agree with the garbage tax when it was uh, introduced in 2013. Sorry? I, I voted no for this, and it's, it's funny that we're voting to get rid of it. All I'm going to say is we're, we're getting rid of it. I'm going to vote to support that, but when I make my recommendations for next year's budget to get rid of some of the positions and some of the perks that everybody needs to remember that there's a million dollars going to be missing. So, you know, no pushback should come. You know, everybody's getting these raises, and we're supposed to be negotiating our contracts, okay? So just be mindful that uh, when I'm recommending shared services and even from giving up $100,000 or asking for $100,000, it's more than nothing. So I'm going to vote yes to get rid of it because I didn't think it was a good idea to begin with. Council President, if I may, Mrs. Yes, Co Mrs. Cosby Hurling, you did hear me say that we're going to have to sharpen our pencils. Mayor, I'm and all I with do, you, and I do, again. And I do have the confidence in this governing Listen. body and our finance department I agree. to do what is necessary to make sure that we have a balanced budget next year without this unjust tax. Thank you for your comments. My pleasure. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Yamakaitis? I, too, did not support this garbage tax when it was brought up. And on behalf of the residents, I am voting yes. Medina? I, as well, did not support this, um, this garbage tax back in 2013. And for my constituents, absolutely, I vote yes. Thank you. Hick Hickey? I wasn't here when it was first introduced, but I have to tell you, I, I absolutely am voting yes for this. I just wish uh, we all had a little teamwork and council work together instead of all these surprises all the time. Um, and again, next year's an election year, mm -hmm. so we'll sharpen up our pencils. Mm -hmm. I'm not included in the committee, so I don't have to sharpen any, so we'll see. <laughs> Mr. President, once again, I'm, and I'm, I do apologize for interrupting, but it seems, uh, and I'll tell you why we did this the way we did it, because it seems like every time I say potato, you say potato. I say tomato, you say tomato. So I, I, I suspected that if I had brought this in front of the entire council, there had been a whole lot of conversation about why we shouldn't do it. And I just decided to go ahead, let's just do it and get it over with. Thank you. I think I'm still on my report. Mr. Alvarez. Yes, sir. Uh, council President, if I may, just, just so the record is clear, this was a motion to add this ordinance to the agenda. It will be read 
on ordinances for first reading at which time members of council will vote to actually repeal it. <coughs> so this was just a motion to add this to ordinance right. to a first reading. So as of right now, everybody has to still pay the tax? For a moment. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Antonelli, <laughs> for your happy thoughts. <laughs> and I want to clarify this ordinance, correct me if I'm wrong, the city. Um, Continue, please, yeah, thank Mr. You. Brown. Is that this would take effect for the 2018 municipal budget. This is why the mayor is making reference that we need to sharpen our pencil and home in and focus on next year's budget. So this will take effect uh, if this is passed by uh, January 18th. Uh, after, other than that, end of report. Thank you, Councilman.